For Comedy Hype News, I'm K-Rock. There's a famous saying that goes, good artists copy, great artists steal. So we at Comedy Hype did some research to see if there's any truth to the saying. And we've compiled a list of the times comedians told jokes that were similar to each other's. First, we start with Marlon Wayans, who would get called out by Vulture magazine. In January 2016, Marlon Wayans said on an appearance on The Tonight Show, I got white friends. I think you need them, especially for when the cops pull you over. When the cops pull you over, please let your white friends do the talking. This joke was very similar to the one Dave Chappelle did in his first hour HBO special, Killing Me Softly. Every, every group of brothers should have at least one white guy in it. I'm serious, for safety. Because when the shit goes down, somebody's going to need to talk to the police. Another moment will be put out in the open in 2019 during an episode of The Mike and Donnie Show. Mark Curry would claim that Steve Harvey stole his comedy routine. Halloween was a trip. Halloween, we couldn't afford no Halloween costumes. Hey, kids, please. Mama sent us down to the liquor store, put boxes on us. Every Halloween, I had the same outfit on. Every year. I just had a brown box. We didn't know what we were. I don't know what we are. <laughs> I don't know. She didn't tell her. I asked my father, could I have a new outfit? And he said, no, just wear the same one. And it was just a brown box. I think we UPS, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and he just told me to tell everybody I was a UPS man. Steve stole my material on his show. So I had beef on that. When he was on that bullshit talk show that he had, he did all of my Halloween material. Kerr revealed that someone informed him about Harvey's alleged comedy plagiarism. He would go on to tell the viewers that it was stolen because the event had actually happened to him. Now, in recent years, things would get interesting for Amy Schumer when she would get called out for stealing jokes from the late comedian Patrice O'Neill. The backstory is that Amy was once O'Neill's opener, and after his passing, she allegedly would go on to use one of his bits. The joke in question will be O'Neill's description of a sex act called a poltergeist. You have a poltergeist? Dude? Poltergeist is good. The worst one I've ever heard is the Houdini. They, well, you need your friend though, right? Like you, you're fucking him from behind, and then you sneak out, and he takes your place. Which is where the guy's having sex with the girl from behind. Then, unbeknownst to her, his friend subs in for him. And then you walk outside and wave at her through the window. Guy number one runs outside, knocks on the window, waves to the girl. In the 80s, the late Robin Williams would find himself in joke-stealing allegations. The rumor was he would use other comedians' material on the Johnny Carson Tonight Show and his television series, Mork and Mindy. The late John Witherspoon would confirm the rumor during an interview in 2015. Huge fan, man. But uh, I wanted to know, is it true that uh, Robin Williams was known in the comedy world as uh, a comedian that would go around and steal other comics' material? Well, he did that. He had a bad rap on him about that, man. And uh, I have to admit it, he did. You know, hard to, it's, it's not good to talk about the dead, but, yeah, he would take somebody's people material. And he would have people, uh, he would have his lawyer come in there when he come back to the comic store and give everybody a check that he stole the material. See, if you prove that, that he had stolen the material, and he would steal stuff every week every, when he was on Mark and Mende. So, yep, yep, yep. But, no, you didn't get it, take you, but you didn't get that from me. Comedian Joe Rogan was banned from his home club, the comedy store in Los Angeles, after an on-stage altercation with Carlos Mencia. According to reports, Rogan would confront Mencia over stolen material and would become vocal online and on stage about Mencia's alleged tendencies to steal jokes. Dude, I opened for you and did that joke in the rooms you performed in. I was doing that joke before. No, you weren't. Yes, bro. Absolutely not. Here's this new thing, I don't know if you guys heard this. He wants to build a new wall all down the California-Mexico border. Like a 12 foot high brick wall, it's like three feet deep. Um, I propose that we kick all the illegal aliens out of this country. Then we build a super fence so they can't get back in. But I'm like, dude, Arnold, um, who do you think is gonna build that wall? And I went, um, who's gonna build it? That's the fucking joke. Do you really think that a Jewish guy came up with that joke before a fucking Do you really believe that shit? Another person on our list would end up being Trevor Noah. In an interview with Channel News Asia, fellow comedian Russell Peters 
said that Noah stole material from David Cow, and he would even go on to say Noah stole jokes from him. Okay. He's stolen material from uh, David Cow. He's stolen material from myself. He's, you know, but whatever. That's his gig now. And congratulations. That's what I can say. It's not borrowing. You don't borrow in this business. That's like stealing somebody's underwear and putting them on. Ironically enough, Russell Peters himself would also be accused of stealing. UK comedian Gina Yashere would then follow up with her own accusations against Peters. Alleged Peters stole from her is one in which his Indian father thinks Poonani is some type of tropical fruit. I'm not the only comedian he's stolen from. He's stolen from countless other Canadian comedians. Even greats appeared to have borrowed material. Back in 2007, Bill Cosby would reveal to the LA Times that a bit he once did about tiny little hairs was stolen and its originator happened to be fellow groundbreaker George Carlin. That phrase to make everyone laugh is little tiny hairs, but I don't get to little tiny hairs if I don't have what I lifted from George Carlin. And the one and only Richard Pryor would also find himself on the list of joke jackets. In a 1981 interview on The Tonight Show, Richard Pryor was asked by Johnny Carson if he'd ever maybe unconsciously used someone else's lines before. Pryor said, oh, on purpose. He went on to explain how he'd steal Dick Gregory's material out of a Jet magazine and use it in his stage act. He also admitted to using some of Bill Cosby's material. I made a lot of money, asked Bill. So let's talk about it more in the comments below. And have you witnessed some other joke stealing moments that we didn't highlight on our list? To stay up to date with more news and comedy, subscribe here to our YouTube and follow Comedy Hype across all social media platforms. For Comedy Hype News, I'm K-Rod.